any flight. The first calibration we will do is the accelerometer calibration followed by the compass calibration. This must be done every time you fly at a new location or at the same location at a different time. This is absolutely imperative. For these models are uh, indicative of both the same as the auto and the Fisherman or RTF version. Um, I'm going to demonstrate it today using the auto model but it is the same for the RTF. The important things to note are inside here this is the flight controller so if it's the silver flight controller with the white writing um, and those flight controllers are the same in both models there was an earlier model which used that transmitter these vi videos do not apply to the model with that transmitter only the model with this transmitter they can be orange they can be white but that's the flight controller we're talking about this model today has the newer lid with the raised GPS. It actually has the GPS and compass underneath the lid under here. And it's very important that you understand the direction. So the front of the splash drone has the silver tape on the front facing arms and has an, a label GPS here and a little arrow there. That is the way the lid must go on. If you get the lid any other way, you will have difficulties. You will have problems with GPS. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sit that over to the side. We're going to turn, make sure all the switches of the transmitter in the up and the back position. For the accelerometer, I'm going to turn on the controller. I'm then going to connect the battery and please note that there's no props on during any of this process for safety perspective. Connect the battery holding these two plugs. Do not pull on those wires. Hold the noise plugs. When we connect those plugs you'll hear it beep knowing that the initialization is done. Just pop the battery back out of the way so that you can see the controller here. Now after that initialization I'm going to flick that switch into the return to home position and I'm going to hold the sticks, left stick to that side, right stick to the upper side and if you notice inside the flashing there is increased rapidly. I hold those sticks until it slows down to the slow flash, release the sticks, I reach in and I disconnect the battery and it's very important at this stage then to turn off the transmitter, flick that switch back into the normal position. 